Aloha everybody, my name is Gabriel Gaming 5000 k and welcome to Let's Play Vampire Part 1. This game came out in 2018. Alright, I'm going to start off with New Game. Story Mode, with Low Challenge, Normal Mode. Character progression is faster if you kill citizens. Combat difficulty is linked to the number of citizens you kill. If I try this one, I don't know. I'll be r raging angry. In hard mode, I will be even more mad. I'm going to try normal mode. I'll probably do this one. Okay. Enjoy this cutscene, everybody. It's going to take a while to load. Excuse me. Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under crown of stone. Eight voracious Whoa. beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, Mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen. The falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness but lurking sun? What is war but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? A what vampire. is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? Yeah, when you see that, why? Death. That's autosave. Plus, skeletons. From the sacred tree. Mortality was believed to be God's punishment. And corpses. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet. There's our main hero. His name is Dr. Jonathan Reed. He's been turned into a vampire. This place take this takes place in England, United Kingdom. How come everything is all black and white? He's limping in pain. Poor guy. He's thirsty. Is he? Yeah. He is, but I digress. God. Is he hallucinating or something? Oh, I see his blood all over the place. Thirsty. 
so thirsty. Yeah, he's thirsty, all right. Per se, but... Yeah, I can see her heart. A lot of murmurs. Oh my god. He's a vampire. I was right. He can't drink blood. Like mosquitoes do. It was Mary. Mary. Oh, no. You had no choice Mary. but to bite Mary in the neck. Hold on, please, hold on. Yeah, covering up her wound is not going to help. Mary. Mary. No. 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 Mary's Jonathan's sister. Oh my God, that's a lot of blood on his shirt. Got vampire hunters over there. No. Whoa. Please, a moment. Let me explain. Ah. Oh, he got shot. Uh. 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 These patrols are after me. We're at a level no. one. No, don't shoot. Press B button to sprint. This is a nightmare. By holding the, by pressing B, I mean holding the B button. So that you sprint. This can't be happening. Yeah. The green bar is your help. There's one of those vermin. No, please, stop. I mean you no harm. Oh my god, that's a lot of villagers. What's going on? They're after Jonathan. Oh Mary. What have I done? What's all this about? Has it fled? A, a, a used machete. Press X to perform a melee attack. No. Melee attack. They cause stamina. Kill the king. Who are you? Press the right stick to lock on. Stay back. We got a gunner. Sorry, but you left me no choice. Nope. Is there anything breakable? You can't fight him. You can't fight him on the bridge. You just have to proceed. I wonder what's in there. Nothing in there, guys. Who are you? Stupid beast! Press the B button to dodge. By tapping it. Sorry. Yeah. You didn't have a choice, dude. They're trying to kill you. Come on. Which targets while we're walking on to a bad guy? Got gunners. Who are you? What are you doing? When you're out of stamina, you can't attack nor can you dodge. What do you want? All you have to do is counter. Your health regenerates slowly. Open the door. I mean you no harm. I, I need help. Die, you fucking leech! <laughs> Please, 
Listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? Shut up. What is this all about? Ah! Ah! What in God's sake? Do the rest ah! of the job. Sunlight. Ah! Just, they just damage leave. vampires. Ah! 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 Oh wow. Certain elements like fire will deal aggravated damage that reduces your maximum health gauge. That includes silver, garlic, and a steak. And sunlight. Watch out for fire. And when you get bite by one of the enemies, bit by one of the enemies, that's for sure. I need to find somewhere to hide. Let me go! All right. If only I could ambush this throw. Come on, now's your chance. I need to find shelter. Done. What's this? Do not cough in public. Prevent diseases. Careless spitting, sneezing, coughing, and spreading phalangia. Spread by droplets sprayed from nose and throat. Do not cough in public. Oh. Yeah, when you see a red icon on the door, the lock symbol, it's locked. It's locked, all right. So we're gonna have to get into shelter for now. Is anybody there? What is this place? He uses the bookshelf the as a lock to block the door. I should be safe enough here. Of course. You'll be safe. Hey, what is this? Picture frame. Whatever it is. Flashback, Mary. Mary. I'm sorry. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. Yeah. Okay. There are a lot of collectibles in the in the game. Those coins are called shillings. Better save your shillings. Fire and sun. Let's see this one. When you press select. They include your map, quests, citizen menu, local investigations, let's see, your character, your inventory, that includes one hand, two hand, off hand, firearms, weapons and modules, samples and ingredients, ammunition, serum, treatments, junk, quest items, collectibles. Weaknesses of vampires, species of vampires, the Guard of Prywin, the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Skull, the origin of vampires, the Great Hunt, the Need for Blood, the Skulls, the Legendary Vampires, Fire and Sun. That's, let's see here, don't have to read that. Hmm. In there, bottle of alcohol, like rubbing alcohol. Look, it's a pocket watch and a lamp. Skulls are one of the evil vampires. Wait, this one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Picking the dead's pockets? Are you serious? Undertaker. I still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. Undertakers. <laughs>
I would agree. Oh, we got a pocket of watch. Let's see, upstairs. Let's search around. Mirror. More shillings. What do we have here? A syringe. A serum. Cool, we get a revolver. Johnny, this one's lost. We need to leave. And now, no. there's time I can save him. That's the enemy coming. The orders are to evacuate the hospital. <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. Wow. No, it never got easy. It never got easy. We got a revolver. Check the details. No, nope, wrong button. See our weapon. All we need is bullets. This takes 45 damage. That's for sure. Bloody diary. You look in this mirror, cracked mirror. Next, been bitten. He gets bit in the neck and he's knocked out. No. no. I still have so much to accomplish. And by the way, who is this mysterious vampire who bit Jonathan in the neck? I still have so much left that needs doing. Wow. Let me explain to you one more time. This green bar is your health, and the orange bar is your stamina. Okay. So, in other words, we're heading to bed for now. This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. What are you going to do? You going to cure yourself? Rational thinking only. That's why I shoot. Boom. Drop of blood. Vampire.
And so, the story begins. Oh, he's alive. Why is he so pale? This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. Contains blood in sunlight. Lead to glowing flesh. Ah, evolution. Hideout beds allow you to evolve and rest. Spend experience points to level up and improve your vampiric skills. Begin selecting the available skill autophagy. Drain your own blood to heal normal and aggravated damage instantly. Okay. This costs 600 blood. You have leveled up and feel stronger. Fresh for you to go back. Okay. Now I'm going to do claws next. Close range strike that will cut through for all living creatures in front of you. What's next? Body condition, they cost 300. That's not enough. I still need more blood. More XP. Now select confirm to save your choices. <sighs> Why is there so many blood all over the bed? Okay, now it's nighttime this time. That voice in my head. Chapter one. Quarantine begins. If I'm not mad, then it must belong. Eternal thirst. Identify and confront the vampire who created me. You have to reach the North Bank. To the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Yeah. Okay. That, that letter Y is your objective. Oh, that red bar is blood. Is, is your it? blood. It's closed. No. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Here's the leech. Oh my god, here's the hunter. Press the A button. The grave. You teleport like Albert Wesker from Resident Evil. My head's spinning. It means he has a headache. Come on. Yeah. And don't call me a leech. I'm gonna be searching for some stuff. That way we can get stronger. We gotta use steak. Offhand weapons can be used by pressing Y. They have attacks with special effects and consume stamina. We got the shelter key. Booyah. By pressing the Y button, you use offhand weapons. If you use LB or RB, you'll use your special abilities. I'm still in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Right. Press Y to use your stake and inflict stun damage. A stun enemy can be bitten. Die, like this. this guy's a, a level 3. Press A to buy a stunned enemy. Biting an enemy provides you with blood to use skills and also refills your health gauge. Yeah. That out. Now that you have blood, press RB to unleash your vampiric skill. I do that. The strength. The strength I never knew I had. Yeah. You have the ability to use your claws. Nice. Yeah.
Probably need to proceed. Watch out for those. Look out. Torch dudes. Where'd you come from, man? Oh, I get it. So countering would really help. I'll have to deal with that shooter. What are you doing? Are you trying to kill me and kick my butt? How's that a level four? Okay, now you're getting on my nerves. I hate these fire guys. How do you like that, punk? Every fiber of my being is a fire. Yeah. I feel like a child. Those claws are very strong. Body. I'll deal with that shotgun dude. Okay, that shotgun guy is my problem. He's got a stick on his arm, and that's gonna be very annoying. He's gonna kill you and fight you. Take this. What are you doing? Watch how he counters. Yeah, he's just trying to stab you. When he's stunned, you gotta give it a good shot. My strength. My reflexes. I'm not cool. human anymore. You can pick up items from dead bodies. That's for sure. In other words, I'm gonna have to break some barrels. If I press the left stick, I'll be able to sense something. By the way, let's look in there and see. Quarantine. Quarantine. Contagious disease. One shall enter or leave quarantine area without written of the local health authority. An, author an authorized employee of the hmm, shall alter, destroy, or remove this card. Violating this regulation will be fined. Oh, there's one more thing I gotta s forgot to show you. Is there anything on that ship? Come on. I'm gonna break some barrels. To check whether there's items or not. Ah, uh, absolutely not. From now on, I need to get, I need to keep proceeding to the North Bank. Every time you sprint, you lose stamina. Join the ranks. Your king and country need you. Join the British ranks and help the brave places at front. The brave lads at front, at the front. You already read that. Your king and country needs you. Join the... And help. Yeah, I don't really have time to my read poor one of sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. Look, rats. For what happened to us? This you pick up rats, you drink their bigger. blood. You don't get XP, do you? I have this thirst for no. blood. This fills up your blood. So we got shillings. Booyah. Teleport. The dizziness from the jump. I can. Whoa. Come on, load. Of 
control it. Yeah. Probably need to check in there and see. Got some shillings. I can't believe I'm doing this. I know. It's disgusting. What will London have to say to me? I don't know. Let's see what's in there. Some more shillings. I have so many questions unanswered. Got some more shillings. Another corpse. Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? A mausoleum. It's like a wall graveyard. man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell the scent of it. It's probably a scrawl. I follow a skull. the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. To your assailant. Uh, talk with your vampiric senses by pressing the left Fresh deck. blood. And the smell is so strong. Yeah, I can tell. Let's look around. Where has everyone gone? I don't know. You gotta follow the killer's trail. According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that must be the killer's trail. Yeah. There's another rat over there. Probably kill it. Okay. Hideout. A new hideout is available in the district. Check your map to locate it. I'm going to head in there. Hideout. You just found a new hideout. Here you can spend your XP while resting or craft items at the workbench. Okay. Here's a stash. Refill all. Really? Crafting. On a workbench, you can craft medical treatments to heal sick citizens, serums to boost yourself, weapons upgrades to improve and customize your weapon. Okay. One hand. Use machete. Or needs a red pilot. Steak. All we need is common handle parts and lead sticks. We can craft items. Bottle of alcohol, one glass of vial equals Parishes Letriate. Okay, a watch, good resale value. This item can be recycled into components that include spring, screw, and grease. Cool. Revolver. Cool. That's all good. Check what's in there. Common handle parts. There's a little debris in it down there. I have to go on the bed. Go to the body condition. That includes your health. Reason is 
What big thirst? You need 300. Right now, I still have 200. No? Well, I gotta do some fun for now. The following night. I just leveled up. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of there, shall we? That's strange. The trail is very erratic, as if the killer was drunk or hesitant. And by the way, we're heading to the turquoise turtle. That's the bar. At last, a little life. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. That's Dyson. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Okay, there are three choices. Kind of remind me of Silent Hill. Alright, let's ask. Did anyone enter the bar? Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry, I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bottle, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? Right. What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. The sewer dog? Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. I blamed a sewer dog, eh? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. It's not People a fairy tale. People always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. Yeah. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Okay. Now let's talk to the bartender. My God, sir. That's you look Tom. Like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? <laughs> no, thank you. I'm not, not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is going to be another long night. Yeah. Let's ask what this place is. Where am I? Where is this oh, place? A sip of water. You're at my bar, sir. The turquoise turtle. Speaking of thirsty. Last ray of light in this dangerous part no, of town. Mm. Let's ask if he's scared. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. So you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And no body's been found for the last few weeks. Flu. And nobody died of a flu. I mean, that's a lot of weeks. Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. Let's ask if I'm looking for someone. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. Yeah. Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. Well dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. How long has he been here? How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. 
I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh... Yes? No funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Yeah. Confront the man on the second floor of the turquoise turtle. Vampire, vampiric sense. And there's the barmaid over here. Hello, sir. Sabrina. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. What is this place? This is Tom's bar, a turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina, if you want to know. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. Back. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic. Now all these terrible murders. The murders? What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some say the sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The sewer dog? The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. But now he's killing in the streets. What have you heard about the epidemic? It's a Spanish flu. Yeah, killed so many last summer. The Spanish we'd flu. we the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's got That's really a lot of quarantine out of zones. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just of other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I'll best check on them. I'll leave then. Thank you. All right. Dyson Delaney is sickness is he's fatigue. Tom Watts is healthy. Sabrina's healthy too. Let's go upstairs. This is no place for you. Prewin have several patrols roaming the area. They do not Prewin. excuse me. But they're looking for vampires. They are most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require. Shh, shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Do you search them? Yes. You might as well come in, whoever you are. All right. Slowly, vampire. Who are you? Whoa. Across. I mean, you know harm. Say it, the vampire. Present yourself! I... I need a word. With... Anyone. Oh. Well, that's something I can do for you. That was strong stuff on Jonathan. And who might you be? Let's see. I gotta ask you first. Tell me. Who are you? First, tell me what you want. You better pick your poison. Then poisons. I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. Oh. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card wow. of a vampire. Like you. Okay. This is not real. You can't be serious. I'm not a... 
No. I can't be a, a vampire. Sir, believe me, this is very real. You are a vampire. He's then right. If you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation That's Dr. here Swan. in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Okay. Gotta ask, what is a brotherhood? And what exactly is this brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. What do you know? What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. Help me then. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. I'm not sure. Perhaps. This is all new to me. I'm not even certain what I'm looking for. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? Yeah. Yeah, I'll end him. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. He's talking about revenge on the killer. Alright. Now that that's done, let's interrogate the local. Got some shillings. Alright. Well, we got 300 XP. That's totally good news. But. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else oh, came here tonight. Someone must know something. Yeah. Let's talk to Sabrina. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. Well, if you must. Let's ask about the truth. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin. His hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. He wouldn't be happy with talking about William Bishop. Like, he's a vampire, right? What happened tonight? I he was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes. His face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and, and cried. It was terrible. Tell me about him. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get... Very aggressive. I see. Mr. Gumbasirk. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. All right. 
You just discovered a hint. It reveals a secret about a citizen or someone related to them. Press select to open the citizen's menu. As a vampire, you need human blood to evolve. The blood quality bar indicates the XP you will earn if you feed on this citizen. Unlock hints increase the amount of XP. And yeah, there are four endings in this game. Tom and William Bishop used to be good friends. There are five hints on Tom Watts. Okay, when it's lime green, that's sanitized. Green, healthy. Yellow, stable. Orange, serious. Red, critical. Dark red, hostile. You got a mesmerized level over there. Let's talk to Dyson. And you'll still have. I'll leave you to your. Nope. But why not talk to Tom? Welcome back. I can't say I have. Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Okay, citizen's hit. As a vampire, you can force a citizen to reveal information thanks to a hint you have discovered. Food prompt. Talk to me about William. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, we'll come Echoing voice. But he's not my friend anymore. He lied. Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. He's telling the truth, Jonathan. Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He'll barely stand <laughs> up most of the time. <laughs> the bite. How was he tonight? Was he different? Oh, sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he liked to talk to me outside, and then he left when I refused. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What do you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. <laughs> William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Alright. Let's inspect the boats for now. At any rate... I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me? To this city? Alright. War munitions volunteers. Probably go look around. Let's see here. Torn, uh, torn off page of a diary. Let's see here. I'm going to be looking around for some more items and hunt down bad guys. But I'm going to erase marker. Now that we interrogated the locals, we got to track the killer and inspect the boat. Sometimes secondary quests can be very difficult. So then, at any rate, I better get on to my mission from now on. Yeah, walking around does not help. I know I've been trying to find some more items for the last few minutes. Let's inspect the boats. Let's see what we got here. 
And there's a corpse over there. Another one. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. I can tell. Let's see an outfit. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Yeah. Examine wounds. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. What's this? Some sort of note. Yes. Pre-win orders. Multiple deaths in the docks region. We believe a nasty leech is involved. Locate the bre locate the beast. Purge it quickly. Warning. According to recent reports, this vampire is very violent. Approach with extreme caution. I know we track... We lack men in this part of town, but don't send rookies to investigate this, the case. If I'm correct, we got a frenzied one killing each night. As always, search our abandoned places first, like old houses, basements, sewers, or warehouses. Destroy the leech, brothers. It's from G. McCollum to the docks patrol on October 30th. Anyway, got the shelter key. Let's see here. Which items do we have here? We don't have ammo. We got screw. Got ferrous tartrate. Let's see here. Glass vial. At least that's a good thing I got the glass vial. Lead plate. Not a lot men, of stuff going on. They're a company of professional vampire hunters. Yep. They're vampire hunters. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. Yeah, let's move on. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Definitely reach that barge. All of the blood trails from the pier. Okay, jump over here, Jonathan. So we got a level four hunter. Free one gunners. Here. See if I can ambush that punk. No, don't go over there. Let's ambush him. Out of combat. Silently behind an enemy. Opportunity attack. By ambushing them. Drink some blood, Jonathan. Where's that gunner? Okay, follow the blood trails from the pier right now. Okay, let's go search around for some more items. But what the heck? A pre one brawler. Yeah, these guys can be a bit a pain in the butt. I'll deal with him. Enemy card. Press the left. Press the left stick to control the spot enemies around to, to display their enemy cards. Okay. Resistance. Some enemies are more resistant to certain types of damage. There are four types of resistance. Physical, melee, ranged, powers, blood. Shadows. Orange indicates a medium resistance. Red indicates a high resistance. High resistant to firearm weapons. That includes ranged combat. Let's see here. High resistant to firearm. All the more reason to shut it, Mr. Billy. If the man says a blood suck is dug in here, you've got one job, and that's to find it. Let's kick his butt. Let's stun that punk. Stun his blood. Uh oh. Ouch. That hurt. Okay, I don't want to waste any more stamina. This is gonna hurt you more than it hurts me, man. He just, he just damaged my health. Wow. Mm. 
Yeah, it doesn't help. Come on. Keep fighting him. Yeah, that will help. <laughs> what a bunch of sadists. Still gotta follow the, the blood trails from the pier. At any rate. I should probably get up there. Okay. Doing good. We're going to deal with this punk right here. This guy's at a level 5. Worse. Alright, he's dead. Let's play it. Aluminum shards. Glass shards. What's next? Killings. Okay, let's go down. Probably need to break more barrels. Ammunition crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. Yeah, ammunition like is very important. I'd rather save my ammo. Because that's the right thing. Save ammunition. The least I could do is break some barrels. What's that? Common handle parts and more shillings. Nice. And some shotgun shells. Ta-da! Gotta ambush that punk. Uh-oh! That hurt. Stupid stunners. See? This is exactly what I'm talking about. You best deal with gunners first. What are you doing? They're countering. They counter. That's for sure. You get 15 XP. The more enemies I defeat, the more XP I might get. Got some more bullets. Booyah. <laughs> I'll deal with that dude right here. Oh my god. Man, I hate fire-based enemies. They're freaking annoying. Sometimes these guys can be a pain to avoid. Let's go up there and see what we got. Use Lupara. Don't come over there. All right, punk, we're going down. How does it feel having your blood drained, buddy? Boom. More shillings. <laughs> I'm loving this. I totally love this. Okay, rats and hideouts. Rats are often located near hideouts. Using sensors will help you locate them more easily. Anyway, let's go up there. 
the new hideout, and there's a corpse. Common handle parts. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything else over there. Bullet. Of course, I need a craft. No. Use machete. That's good. Level two. Anything recyclable? No. I'm afraid not. All right. Let's evolve for now. Probably gonna do big thirst. Big thirst increases your blood absorption when using bite in combat. I better do that from now on. This ought to be helpful. Let's see. Flag. Hard biting. How many do I have? Not enough. That's not enough. The following night. Alright. I need to check into the citizens menu. Let's see here. Stable. P. Sabrina, Cavendish. Yeah. That last name, Cavendish, kind of reminded me of the character from One Piece. On the Dressrosa arc. Well, let's get the heck out of here. Probably need to go back and face off these annoying punks. Easy does it, boys. We can deal with this. Oh my god, Gunner. These guys can be my problem. What are you doing? Take that. You can't pick up items until all enemies are defeated. Okay, what's next? Still got some bad guys to bat deal with. One of them. Uh, ow! Cut it out! You're screaming in unbearable pain, buddy. Okay. And he's out of stamina. That hurts. Gotta keep drinking his blood. They really gotta get stronger. Awesome. We're getting somewhere, guys. Who is this guy? Is that a mysterious guy over there? Just tell if that's him or not. It's locked. Yeah, the door will not open from the other side, you know. So for now, we'll deal with this pre when fire executioner. He's got eyes in the back of his head, so that's why he'll attack you. More shotgun shells. See why I'm farming XP? You're going down, buddy. Okay.
where are these guys? Best turn around if I were you. I'd best turn around if I were you. My fair line of the game. <laughs> Ha! Serves you right. Anyway. Don't go backwards. Gravy, no wonder why you've been killing a lot of enemies all the time, Jonathan. You're doing it so that you can get some XP. Alright, we're in North Docks right now. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. Red Rod. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Very strong. Is that Sean? Oh my god, William Bishop is a scrawl. He's thirsty for blood. I use Scythe. Equip a two-handed weapon and press Y to use its special ability. The Scythe, for instance, can be used to parry on a coming attack, inflicting heavy stun damage if timed correctly. Oh my god. I wouldn't this place weeks of bloodshed. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies and skeletons. Will oh, please let go of me. There's William. There's our killer. We're gonna confront that punk. This oh creature is bedeviled. I can't stand it anymore. I must put it down. Okay, this battle is gonna be really annoying. Is a scrawl. Oh, he uses combat as his plan. Yeah, when he's blocking, that means he's gonna counter you. Get hit by one of the scrolls, maximum health will go down. Okay, man, you're going down. When he bites you, it drains your health, your maximum health. But that counter did not do the trick. Hate those guys, they're so annoying. Don't you agree how scrolls can be a pain? Keep blasting him. Gonna keep doing it until the cows come home, Jonathan. He's almost there, buddy. Oh, right. He just countered me. Drain his blood. It would really help. I help with my health. Well, just a little bit. Did not work. When he's done attacking, now's your chance. Breaking his blood, dude. Alright. I'm not going down without a fight, buddy. I got him running out of stamina. the heck is he strong? We gotta use bludgeon. Booyah, William Bishop is done like dinner. Alright. Some more shillings. And presto. 
lead rod, aluminum shards. My god, that's a whole lot of blood. Now let's check on the victim. It's not too late. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? I knew him well. Another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. I'm still alive? Whoa. Who is this mysterious vampire? Remember, stab, certain skulls are every bit heart. as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by scowl? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. Wait. You, you are the woman from the book. Skulls are evil vampires. Are you like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Huh. She can teleport too? Nice. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Dr. Swansea, sir. How good of you to Patience, come, man. Yeah? good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat, and we can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Okay. Alright. Gather a blood sample on William Bishop's corpse. Okay. I'm happy that I got 500 XP. Why am I destroying so many objects? I'll have to take the blood. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some now board the boat, species dude. of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Of course. We headed. We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. Pembroke Here Hospital. Bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was. What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important it's a skull. thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What? Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You use me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End, and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. How, Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. A surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. 
to read. Marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. <laughs> and what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed, and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have clothes. little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. We're heading to the Pembroke Hospital. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Dorothy Crane. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. Oh, we got a trench coat. Country will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> that blood transfusion kind of reminded me of One Piece, where, where Jinbei and Luffy had to have a blood transfusion in the Fishman Arc. It's not what we New have. Fishman Arc, though. But what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Coming, Nurse Crane. Coming. <laughs> oh, cool. It's got, a, it's got a suit. Take me to a hospital. Analyze William Bishop's blood in the hospital. Okay. They're both healthy right now. Is that Clay? It's my turn. Oh my god. He's beating the crap out of Clay. Each heart contains the seeds of life. Drink at this river or dry it all. Did he just beat him? Enter the Pembroke Hospital. Oh come on, you bastard! I won't buy. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. <laughs> you gotta be more polite. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right. Sorry. I am in pain here. 
Me guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. He's a doctor, Clay. Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Blood quality. The blood quality indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. To drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them to lead out of the sight from others. Your mesmerized level must be equal or higher than your citizen's resistance. Press LB to mesmerize Clay. Oh, Gotta have a high mesmerized level than your victims. Bring this fading shadows. light into the, the shadows. the rituals to lead your prey into the shadows. Dance him the dance of life and death. Okay, press A to embrace Clay Cox or press B to release him. Embracing Clay will provide a massive XP boost, but be aware that there will be consequences. Learning more about citizens and collecting their hands will increase the experience gained. Alright, let's release. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Yeah. You cannot take another life, you know. Because if you take his life, you get an axe. What's in there? Tiny common handle part. Oh, nice. Did I black out? No, you didn't black out, dude. But for now, we'll proceed. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. Nope. Let's see here. Probably not gonna go back. Got glass vial. So then. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man Dorothy. by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our nice. porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Questions. Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows dropping. far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in, how does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Okay. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Absolutely. You know, I... There's a lot of citizens in there. At any rate, we're gonna have to be talking to some folks.
I'm gonna talk to some folks in the hospital. Let's talk to him. Good evening, sir. So it is true. Dr. Tibbet. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Brannigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve. But I must admit, he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah, yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. No personal questions there. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. See if we can find someone we know. Not locked. Just talk to him. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague. Are you a doctor, too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Jadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Jadana, pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean? He doesn't have a you PhD a anymore. Doctor. Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Now he's a pawn shop. Let's ask what's great. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Yeah, there are. Enigmatic formula. Opium. Codeine. Probably save some. I'll talk to him again. Good evening. Life in London. Okay, well. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main morgue was still open. Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Are you afraid or 
uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses. Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No Poof. soul anymore. All gone. An interesting point of view. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear, or at least have a respect, for dead flesh. Sir, as a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. Yeah, new hints available. How did you get this job? After I left the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. A funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You were missing, and she was looking for your body. She must be very relieved now. A pawnbroker? I expect you get all types of people here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. For I sell all kind of goods. Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic, even unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers, for the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember. And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. What kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade, I exchange. Some people sell, some others buy. I like to help. Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No, I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality? as a concept. I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. Do you really believe goodwill cannot last? As I said, sir, everything decays. If I was to never die, goodness, I would be bored or worse. And I like to be helpful, sir. Quite depressing, wouldn't you say? Yes. But the good news is, we'll all die before losing our humanity, sir. So you're ready to die? No, I am not. I don't fear death, for I won't see it. I fear death. What troubles me is the pain my death will inflict to those I know. You're a wise man, Mr. Chidan. No, Dr. Reed. I am a foolish man. And how are you a foolish man? I like to think otherwise. You're not foolish, man. Goodbye, Mr. Chidana. Goodbye, sir. Probably find Milton. Talk to Good evening, nurse. Gwyneth. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm nurse Gwyneth Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. 
How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, Mass? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. So questions? Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left for Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippett's does not think of you as just a nurse anymore, does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. Yeah. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Yeah, you got 10 XP. Let's talk to this guy. His name's Milton. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for Milton the shit of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Let's see here. Questions? Nope. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. <laughs> we lack everything. And it's getting worse every day. Yeah. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Yes, it is. Most of the time. Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Goodbye, Milton. See you, Milton. At any rate, we must enter the backyard garden. He's not in the garden of good and evil. It's so safer here than anywhere else in the East End. Did he 
annoying. Oh, wrong button. Press LB and RB to zoom in. Jeez, man. The recommendation is gotta be you gotta be at a level ten. Okay. Can actually break barrels. By vanishing. Nice. I'll have to go in there. Let's check the enemy card. Got screw and some grease. Has to do. Gotta do what I gotta do best. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Got some annoying skulls. Those guys are at a level six. I can tell. He has a resistance. High resistance to fire. Oh, that countering really did jump on me. I'm gonna let you drain my blood, bud. Investigate. And let's see what we got here. Uh, pray not. Oh, another skull. That's a level six. His blood. Keep drinking his blood so that I might get health. That, that friggin' hurts. Uh oh. Keep it coming, Jonathan. He's draining his health. Skull punks. You got two of these. One of them is a high level. Oh, he's stunned. Yeah, he roars. You'll be stunned. What are you doing? Stop screeching at me. Okay. Watch your stamina, dude. God. You don't have to drink his blood. It's blood. Yay. They're done like dinner. Booyah. 
Red plate. Photography in a wallet. Milton and Pippa. That's cool. Probably need to find more bad guys. Okay. Keep on rolling, dude. That's awesome. Stay at home. Influenza frequently complicated with pneumonia. To prevent any case of Spanish flu, stay at home. Freaking awesome. Probably need to go back. And fight some more bad guys. If I can check my map, shall we? Boy. When you see a coin symbol, that's a merchant. What are you doing? Alright, he's gotta bring the back the wallet to his owner. Okay, I'll check one more time. Oh no, don't hit the wrong button. Let's go up there. Nothing up there. Whatever. Okay. Any event? Let's check the citizens menu. Let's see here. Clay Cox is healthy already. Nope. Nope. Let's see here. Car can. Gwyneth. Doing it one more time. I'll go talk to the citizens one last time. Great. Junk. Screw. It never ceases to amaze me. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Personal questions. Alright, the hints are already required. Goodbye, Mr. Afraid there's nothing I can do right now. No, don't press the wrong button. So many loading screens. Let's find Milton. Okay, come on. Stop loading. Okay. Probably need to go 
straight. Where could this dude possibly be? Probably in the office. Wow, we're going around in circles. I need to stop fooling around. Probably find Milton. There's Milton. There he is. He's over there on the side. I gotta go find him. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Hey, buddy. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I no. retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah, people... Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Gotta agree with him. Got some questions. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. I know. London. It's required. Stuff. Goodbye, Milton. I got a hundred and sixty XP. Boo yeah. Let's talk to him. Good evening. Dr. I should have considered the offer from that cabin. London. You're exhausted. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Yeah. Nurse Brannigan is worried about you, Doctor. <laughs> she should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. <laughs> I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Brannigan's opinion is the only one I may listen to. Yeah. What about it? Right. Goodbye, Doctor. See you. See you, Doctor T. There's Doctor Brannigan. Good evening, Nurse. Good evening. London. Oh, questions. No. How are not. And sorry. Do you th we are I think that's all I that's all there is. Goodbye now. At any rate, why don't we check one more time? Let's see here. Pins. No. No. Well good. So two more. Talk to Pippa Hawk. 
goodness, that's a whole lot of folks. Talk to him. Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, sorry, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. Okay, you life in London. Do you know Tom, Tom Watts. Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. Who should I avoid corruption. in this part of town, then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. Back. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place, and he refused to let me go. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here, this Miss Hawcroft. You dared to enter this awful place alone? You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul, searching for light. Wow. What is the general situation in the East End docks? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers' trade union. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife, Edwina, who runs the show, with the assistance of her minion, Booth Digby. Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. I've had That's a whole lot of conversations. So long, you know, the sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint, not even criminals. How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond the exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks. And I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really, but I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke. Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. Yeah, goodbye, Mr. Hampton. You know, let's go talk to him. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. Grumpy. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. 
How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars. If you get my drift. I get your drift. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then no, we he's a doctor. War, sir. No offense. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Bye, Mr. Elwood. On every street corner. I need to talk to you. who is that woman. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, Thelma. mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Stop calling him mortal. And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. A vampire? And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. You know this character reminded me of this one of the students from Assassination Classroom, right? I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard syndrome? Ms. What's Cotard syndrome? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, wow. Sad and New hints mortal. available. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. Really? I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Halcroft? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? No, I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me. For I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them. For you are no match for those that hunt me. Uh, wrong target is one of the new investigations. I'm not going to be doing that right now. Questions. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? I'll leave you 
Mistress of the Dark. Yeah, auto saving. Yeah, I've seen that before. But we'll probably talk to Thomas Allwood. I'm gonna go look for the hints. Hints. Okay. The, okay. Thelma is affected by the Cotard syndrome and believes she's a vampire. Let's talk to Thomas. Thomas Elwood for now. Good evening, Miss. Evening. Some questions. How close are you to Miss Horcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. A normal person. Aren't wow. you afraid? She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless, I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. Her arm busted on the outside. But she's still beautiful. She is Living beautiful. proof that there's hope for me. All right. So do you let her bite you? You know that's not sanitary. And why not? Gross. She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain, it's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing patients. Then it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. You do realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Cotard Syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. And frankly, if I could, I'd join her world. It seems much more fun than the real one. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Alright, I'm gonna check the hint one last time right now. Let's see here. Elwood. Quality. Thomas sees Selma Holcroft is living through this. Here's hope for them. It's gravy. Relationships. None. All I need to do is talk to Pippa. Probably need to do that for now. The daily routine. Let's talk to Thelma one last time. Good evening, Miss. Need blood. Tell me, Thelma, why do you feel so attached to Mr. Elwood? Why him? I'm... I, I'm not sure, Doctor. I think we have a bond of some sort. We've both suffered so much. He's the only mortal I... I find interesting. Do you plan to make him a vampire too? Of course not. How could I inflict my curse on anybody else? I'm not that cruel, Doctor. Wow. Would you say you and Mr. Elwood are romantically involved? No. No, Thomas is a delicate soul. Even though he disguises it. But I am not the woman he needs. No, for I am a vampire doctor. Yeah. Nope. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark. That's that's fair. I'll need to check the hints one more time. Okay. Thomas Hallwood. Probably need to find Milton. It's locked, all right. That's Harriet's voice. I'll talk to him again. Doctor Reed. Trying to get more XP. Nope. No more. Goodbye, Doc. Where are you? There you are, Pippa. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. 
Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. Let's start with some personal questions. No hints yet. Your relationship with Mr. Ho Milton Hooks. Pepper, I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes. Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Breaking rules hey, is bad, don't you agree? I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. But we do our best to get by. The best That's way not to break rules is nowadays. stay out of trouble. By following them. Now let's ask about the situation. How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. You must get a hold of yourself, nurse. <sighs> Sorry, I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if, in the end, nobody was spared? How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual, especially concerning doctors. Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's yeah. not the kind of man who's bothered Milton's about grumpy. bad reputation, whether he deserved it's it or not. I get grumpy every time. Spring arrives too soon. Why does Milton dislike doctors? I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Yeah, he's not the chatty type. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. You'd be surprised what dedication can achieve, Nurse Hawkins. In medicine, sometimes we're just a test result away from a miracle. <laughs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. Mm. Russians, nothing else. That's it. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Okay, got 20 XP. Ah, oh, we're farming some XP. Now we can talk to Milton. Good evening. Good evening, Doc. Questions? Nope. London. Mediocre re reputation. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Fuck them. <laughs> Nobody knows the horrors I've seen <laughs> since working here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Ugh. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Yeah, exactly. We lack words. So excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. Yeah. Totally crazy. I'd like to see your wise choice, Doctor. Oh, we get, all we get is some goods. That includes Milton's shotgun. A double barrel barrel shotgun and, and possessed by Milton Hooks probably obtained as a payment from a soldier. You need 315 shillings. Alright. See if I can sell anything. Okay. A small bottle. Perfect. Can we talk to her. Good evening. Good evening. Any questions? Nope. And Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need us. Afraid not.
Dum de dum. Okay. I'll talk to her, to Dorothy. What can I do for you, Doctor? If you could point me a second floor of the hospital, let Yeah, already. What can Will you ex Nothing more. Thank you, Nurse nothing Corrine. else. Let's talk to this guy with a broken arm. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. His name's All Harvey Fiddick. I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. He sounded like he said probably. It's properly. Okay. And yet, this hospital. Are you satisfied with your treatment here? Well, it's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness, but you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. I won't lie to you about it. I'm afraid we are. Are you sure you don't want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? I have the feeling you're very capable. And your colleagues seem to think so, too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. My apologies. Yeah. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed. So I can return to work and to my family. I was more curious about what you were doing before. He still returned to his hospital. work when his I'm arm's a fixed. Sir. And a good one, too. But that means I need both carpenters to feed my family, Dr. Reed. He needs to feed his family. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best. You know, Strickland and Aykroyd are, are rivals. Doctors are no bitter rivals. Kind of reminded me of Zoro and Sanji fighting with each other with just so that they could get stronger. Difference is, I disagree about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. Goodbye for now, mister. Okay. Got some glass vial. I'll talk to this guy. Good evening, Doctor. I believe we're going to be working together. Dr. Reed. Dr. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And you are? I am Thoreau Strickland. Uh, Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Uh, questions? No. Please, could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion, Dr. Reed. I run my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. It's always a pleasure to share scientific and medical knowledge with someone. I'm glad you're making the right choice, Jonathan. I'll be glad to help you if I can. This epidemic may be the century's most terrible disaster, but I'm convinced that we, as doctors, are the only ones able to defeat it. Yeah. I based my One of these two, on my mentor's research. The recommendation would be got to be at a level 16. My method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and methodical, you may remain empty. Okay, new hints are available you won't for now. Fail. You're not the first one to warn me, but I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. What can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea. But with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a Did batch of products eyebrows? I ordered for really? my personal research. Yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to play the errand boy for you? Oh no, Dr. Reed. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. Well, give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. 
You seem quite optimistic. Missing ingredients. It's a rare and precious attitude. It's going to be really painful. Times. I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test. A test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Questions remain about our capacity to resolve the situation. True, true. Last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. We're not smiling now. Okay. Let's go back. Questions. Blood transfusion technique. Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him? Or to prove your point? Fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father. Brain shame of putting his children at risk Crazy. because of his own negligence. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Ackroyd's behavior. A man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes, and fears. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones, and flesh. Okay. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. All right. Got 30 XP. Booyah. Well, let's talk to... Let's talk to him. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening. Talk to Harvey. Some questions. Tell me about your injury, Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me. And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. What an arsehole. Whoa. You can't hold yourself responsible for your injury, Mr. Fiddick. Unless you tried to hurt yourself. Of course I didn't hurt myself. But I can't work until my arm is fixed. My children need to eat, Doctor. How could your job be responsible for your wife's death? I was working a double. She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. Tell me more about the death of your wife, Harvey. 1915. Oh. I was in the army. Building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. You know, this kind of reminds me of World War II. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. The part I studied in, United, in U.S. history back when I was in high school. How are your children after losing their mother? They were smaller then. The only good thing about this is... My Ellen didn't bring them with her that night. I'm sorry for your loss. So many died during the bombings. Once and witnessed the carnage there. I would suffer. Truth is, I have no idea. I just know. Poor little bleeders. Okay. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. Okay. Once, once chapter two is done, I'll end the stream. Why am I going around in circles, dude? It's up there, so you're going the wrong way, bro. You know what? Actually, there's one more thing.
need to talk to some more folks. Three more. Talk to this guy. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome Dr. aboard, I suppose. Does Dr. my Aykroyd. arrival inconvenience kind of is that? in some way, Dr. Aykroyd? Kind of Let's just Aykroyd. say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swans's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. Tell me, Waverly, what do you think of Dr. Strickland's enthusiasm for his experimental research? Strickland is playing with his patients' lives for pride and glory. Now that, sir, is unethical. Are you thinking about something in particular? Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure. But my young colleague obviously disagrees. And are you not afraid that your rivalry with Strickland may be blinding you? Rivalry? I guess you could call it that. But I will never be childish enough to let my personal feelings affect my judgment. Why do you wish to lead this surgery? I strongly believe that Mr. Fiddick should not be butchered to test an unproven procedure. If you are going to lead this surgery, I'm trusting you to assume the consequences of your actions, whatever the result. I'm not the kind of man who runs away from his responsibilities, Dr. Reed. There is no need for you to be looking over my shoulder. Okay. If you have a problem with me, Dr. Ackroyd, please feel free to tell me. Dr. Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking anyone's advice. The benefit of his position. But I don't agree with it. I know we've never met before, but I believe this hospital could use all the help it can get. You will agree with that, I'm sure. Oh, but I have heard about you, Dr. Reed. Of course, you can't say the same about me, since I have not wasted my time courting the press. Aren't you too old for such jealousy? It really won't do you any good, you know. Don't be ridiculous, Dr. Reed. A simple glance is enough for me to know you have nothing <laughs> for me to envy. Since your tenure in this hospital is longer than mine, perhaps you can tell me more about this place. Let's just say I'm tired of the carelessness around me. I have always respected the skills of Dr. Swansea, but over time his enthusiasm has become displaced. Careless. Displaced. Exactly what are you talking about? We're here to save lives. The people who trust us are not volunteering for experimentation. They're here to be healed. I don't intend to run any radical Gotta agree with Dr. Ackroyd. Saving lives Even is the I, best as way to do it. A good practitioner should express an interest in pushing the boundaries of medical research. Modern medical methods were created through audacity and ego. But there are rules in our line of work, and they're here to protect our patients. Yeah, that's right. Another hint. I don't know what you've heard about me, but I have already proved my value as a practitioner. I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive. Is it money, fame, or are you truly dedicated? And what exactly is that supposed to mean? I served in the war just like you. But unlike you, I did not use the wounded to play the modern sorcerer. Be careful what you insinuate, Dr. Ackroyd. I only want you to admit you used those men to improve your theories. This is ridiculous. My blood transfusion technique saved many lives, and you know it. You see? That is exactly what I hate about people like you. You avoid this kind of accusation instead of facing reality. Wow. It seems you have bad memories of your military service. I refuse to see this industrial slaughter as scientific progress. War only reveals the worst in men. We can at least agree on something, Dr. Ackroyd. more time thank you for your time okay 
Let's talk to him one last time. I'm all right. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening. Questions? Nope. Ackroyd's aversion for modern methods. What do you think of Dr. Ackroyd's aversion to modern medical methods? It's a shame he's so narrow-minded. Dr. Swansea taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. I'm convinced that's true. With the influenza and all that's going on, you should put your differences aside, don't you think? Why is it so difficult to work together? I believe that if Dr. Ackroyd had been the one to discover the transfusion process, he would be the first to recommend its use. So you believe it's just a question of jealousy and pride? Dr. Ackroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical science. Goodbye, Dr. Strick. Yeah, got 1,000 XP. Oh, nice. Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, That's sir. Beatrice. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Mortimer Goswick. That's the patient Dr. over there. I've heard much of your talents as a physician. What do you think of your reception here? Any complaints? I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. But we had no other choice, considering the state of emergency. Is there something in particular that's no hints available? Some of the staff were not especially welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social standing. Yeah. Here. Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? The ambulance driver was quite rude, for a start. And that nurse, Miss Hawkins, seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son, despite the epidemic. It was a relief, but it wasn't cheap. She charged you? For a bed. Pippa yes. Hawkins. And I paid without question, considering the urgency of the situation. I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. Be sure that I'll talk to the people involved. I don't expect compensation, Dr. Reed. But I'm aware such behavior would not be tolerated in other hospitals. What can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Goswick? Not much to say. Just take care of my Mortimer, and I'll cover all the expenses. That's all that matters. Are you really that rich? Most of the patients here are of a more humble origin, if I may say so. Yes. Thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover any needed medical Her husband expenses. Died. May I ask if you have an occupation, Mrs. Goswick? I'm a teacher by profession. I teach young women who are more ambitious about their futures than their families. Nice. No more personal questions right now until hints are unlocked. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Time to talk to Pippa. I probably need to talk to Pippa right now, so. Good evening, madam. Good evening, Dr. Rick. Some questions? Nope. How would you it's soup? No. I wish. No. How long it you'd be? How is not? Nope. Nothing else. Why is Milton? Why? Why? Pepper. Yes. I have no. The rules. Is he? Hey. Nope. Probably not. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. It's not this. I guess I should. I should probably talk to Mortimer. You know, her son. The name Mortimer reminded me of Mortimer Mouse, a Disney character.
Actually, let's go in there and talk to her, to her son. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're wow. here. Wow. Horrible. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. Interesting questions. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, Doctor. Uh. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all. Doctor. Very painful. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? Wow. She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest assured, you're in good hands here. It's not me you have to convince, Dr. Reed. It's my mother. Is your mother bothering you? As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, Doctor. But you have no idea what my mother is capable of. She would tie herself to my bed if you asked her to leave. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I'll let you get some rest then. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. Yeah, you better not. Good evening. I'm okay. Questions. London. How pa so pain. Okay. I have to. I think that'll be enough for now. I'll talk to her one last time. No. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. That's all. Probably good enough right now. Good evening. Good evening. Nope. Goodbye for now, Mr. No. Unfinished letter. Oh yeah. What is that for? I don't know. I'm quite. Okay. Questions? No. I keep Thank looking you. for hints just so I could get more XP. <laughs> Whoa. Probably need to get rid of that custom marker for right now. That's the dead end right now. You don't have to press. So then, let's head in there, collect some items. A used hacksaw. Thomas Elwood's medical file. This must be the office. Place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows, a kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Yeah, you won't be sleeping in the a coffin. The flower's dying. It needs water. Yeah. Articles on econs. Econs. Right. That's some more stuff we're collecting. 
kill. Okay, that's that's good. Why is there a skeleton over there? Okay, you first need to analyze the components you found to unlock new recipes. Click on the to analyze components. Blood sample of William Bishop. Yeah, right. But not now. I'm gonna go look for some stuff. No. Actually, I'm gonna do it first. Okay. Light regeneration serum. Regenerate 300 health points instantly, then 150 health points over 15 seconds. All you need is sodium hydrophrite solution. Recyclable. All good. Totally good. Let's upgrade. You can upgrade with your weapon when we go to a new level with a required ingredient. It will inflict more damage and you will also gain access to customization slots. Common sight. You're level two. Booyah. You stake. You need you need that. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. No. I must keep on okay. searching. Well, let's look over there. Dr. Swansea's message. Sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have yeah. so much time. Sure do. Definitely need a rest. So that I can upgrade. Hard biting. I'm gonna. I wanna try that. Hard biting increases the damage inflicted when using bite in combat. Yay. Next. Prowess. Okay. Increase your stamina. I need to increase my stamina. Shadow Veil. You drain your stamina to fade into shadows and become invisible to most enemies. Moving in this state will, will drain your stamina. You will exit the shadows if you attack or dodge or when your stamina is empty. Let's see here. Okay. Spring. I'm going to try spring. No, we don't have enough. Low on blood. But what I do know is... I'll confirm. It's all good, everyone. The following night. If I'm to stay here until my research is Chapter complete, 2, White Coat. I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. Night shift. What about my thirst for blood? The flower's dying. It needs water. I not want to make waves, Doctor. My patients feel pain. Okay. You gotta answer the door for now. We'll talk to Doctor. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. 
With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. Whoa. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. Okay, we got the morgue key. Small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. I'm still at a level six, but for now I'll end the stream. Okay. All right, guys. This will do. All right, everybody. My name is Gabriel Gaming Five Thousand K. I will see you in part two, where we go to the storage room. See you then.